Hey guys there, I'll be here. Decided to bring you a video of me playing Heroes of the Storm. Uh, hold on, let me just transition this in. Uh, I'm mainly doing this because actually one of my friends mentioned it. And I decided, you know what, fine. I'll take take up up his, on his uh, idea and I'll actually just put post a video of me playing this game. I am not pro. Just like in all the other videos, I always tell you I'm not a pro. But you know what? I really wanted to show you. Normally, I'd be already in the game. But I want to show you this. Because yesterday, this already had shown up. And I'm pretty sure it's all over Reddit already if you haven't seen it. It's on the upcoming arrival of, I believe, a new hero. I have no idea who it is. Um, to be honest, I've hardly ever looked into trying to figure out what kind of new hero is going to come out. When they come out, they come out. And I get surprised. But, um... I don't even play them. I actually <laughs> kind of like just wait until they become uh, 10,000 gold and then I buy them. That's when I first try them out. Uh, but this got me excited. I was like, three candles, what the hell does this mean? And now today I'm logging in. Uh, it is 3 a.m. and there's only two. Ominous. But that actually kind of got me excited. This is probably the first time I got excited about actually figuring out, trying to figure out who the hero is going to be. Um, there's already so many things you can go on Reddit and they talk about, uh, oh, it's going to be this person, it's going to be that person. Um, and the one that actually <laughs> got me super excited was, I think it was, um, what's his name? From Diablo, it was a, it was a guy made by, uh, Carbots. Uh, it was Mephesto? Or, I don't know if it was Mephesto. But, uh, or I think it was the other guy, um, the one you meet at the very beginning in Diablo, um, what's his name? Groundkeeper or something. I don't know. I don't play Diablo. That's why I don't remember it. But it's like, some dude, at the very start, if you guys follow Carbots, I'm pretty sure you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's pretty good stuff. Um, I love, I love when he, uh, makes his what ifs videos. It's pretty funny to watch. Let's actually start with this. I don't know about you guys, if you're the same kind of person as me, but um, I can't stand having little numbers up here. Like I like I like the design layout when they made uh, 2.0, but I, I just I can't stand having little numbers. It's kind of like you know those notification tabs when you're on uh, when you're on Facebook or or anything, even just on Google Plus any notification I just I don't like having them there and I have this thing or I just gotta get rid of it whether I read it or not that's just whole of the story but I just have to get rid of it uh, so I'm gonna play a little bit of ranked and I'm gonna talk about uh, different strategies that I employ I think there's a, a few youtubers out there that, that talk about this as well maybe there's a whole bunch I, I don't watch very many um, most of the time I'm usually just watching like the actual like tournament matches uh, and I think the only other youtuber or other person that actually I shouldn't say youtuber but the other person that I watch on YouTube uh, that involves anything here's a storm massage from um, what the fuck moments or like what the fuck highlights because those are amazing to watch all the time I just like the catchy songs and I like watching a little bit of the gameplay uh, Pally Time is probably the only other one, but I stopped kind of watching them, not necessarily because it, it wasn't the content that I didn't enjoy, it's just, maybe actually, you know what, to be honest, <laughs> that is the case, it was just content I didn't quite enjoy anymore, uh, I loved watching some of his videos, uh, but I don't know, I just couldn't get into it, I couldn't watch him all the time, that's the thing, like, I, for some reason I just didn't have that energy, and maybe you're going to feel the same way about this video, uh, you're probably not going to want to watch it all the time, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just a fun game. Uh, he, he looks like he's always having fun playing it. Uh, the one aspect I did like uh, that he did uh, when I first started watching him was the spin of friendship. That was actually really funny, and I was just like, yeah, you know what? Sometimes mobile games do have like that that whole thing of like everyone just having so much hate on each other. You're hating the opponents because you gotta kill them. You're hating your teammates because they can't play well. They just hate all over the place. And I'm like, well, you know what? Sometimes you gotta show a little love. And maybe, you know what? Even more important, it's uh, those sprays. 
the spray that you can have on your hero, yes, they're taunts, but sometimes your spray can actually be pretty friendly too. Uh, one of the sprays that I like the most is um, the little cheese spray. Uh, when I play Sylvanas, I have this this kind of getup for her, and uh, I use the cheese one whenever I do anything. Like if I start off uh, the very beginning of the game and I decide to take up some towers, I'll just plop the cheese down because I'm cheesing. Um, if I'm solo pushing <laughs> into a lane and I take it down, I'll plop the cheese down because I'm cheesing. Um, not, not necessarily fully cheesing because that's technically who Sylvanas is and that's what she's supposed to do. She's just a cheesy character. Um, but yeah. And then when I'm Nova, you can, yeah, have the spray of the pew pew if you want to. Or let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So if you're Nova, you can have like some some teaser ones. Where is the pew pew? So this one, yeah, you can have this one shooting around. You can have these kind of like pointing into it. Uh, I like this one for Sylvanas, where you have like the sh. Uh, a lot of people talk about this one being really cool. Um, yeah, so you can just have like different little stuff. I actually like this one. Little little yellow bird. And then Pepe over here. I like those ones. I like having these things. Uh, this one's a little fun emoji too. Kind of want to rub it in uh, on somebody. But yeah, my all-time other favorite is the Lucy O's. The if you <laughs> if I ever got a kill, that just kind of like surprised me and dropped this one down. And I'll be like, oh, <laughs> that's just me. That's just me. All right, so few things that I want to talk about was rank play strategies. Now, I don't know if this is correct in any way, but this is just how I like to play. Um, it is very hard to kind of coordinate yourself in ranked play, especially because you don't really know, like when you're soloing. If you're going to be in a team, yeah, it's super easy to coordinate with yourself because hopefully when you're in team league, uh, you're more likely to have the three or five players. That means you're controlling the majority of the team, if not all of the team. And you're all you're communicating, whether on Discord, uh, TeamSpeak, um, uh, Curse, whatever it is you want to use. Uh, I myself use uh, Discord uh, now. I used to use all of the other ones, but uh, now I'm just strictly on Discord. But, um, yeah, just communication having that with your players automatically gives you an advantage I feel because uh, you can coordinate what you're gonna do you have different people have an idea and hopefully you have somebody who's a really good uh, leader in the sense that he's a good shot Kala maybe a Bala but um, I'm not that person <laughs> I am more of a free spirit I like to be individualistic and if not uh, no matter who I play, I'm tend to, tend to be a specialist. That's a target ban I feel sometimes. Not really. I don't know. I think Savannah is a good ban regardless. All right, strategy wise, um, you're gonna hear differing uh, opinions on this. If you have everyone kind of like showing who they're gonna be, then yeah, uh, it doesn't really matter who you pick. Uh, maybe you guys can coordinate that way. Let's but I always feel the first uh, pick itself, if it's if you're going first and you only have one pick, yes, this is a good choice. Oh, Either you want to get a mage or you want to get uh, an auto attacker. That is fine. Usually I'm, I'm very for having a Sylvanas first or something like that. Uh, if I'm first, I'm usually going to pick Sylvanas. Um, it's visible. But always a healer of some sort. Uh, needs to be, the healer and the tank need to be picked within these three. That is, that is my thing. That a healer and a tank need to be picked within these three. We have a Tassadar, that's cool. And there's a Tyrael, that is amazing. We have a Brawler. So we need, uh, we actually need an actual tank, so I'll be the actual tank. Reckoning is at hand. Because it's supposed to be picked really early on in my opinion. A lot of people are very different say, oh no, no, you don't need to. I think it should be. They're the most probably stable, uh, stable, stable picks. Like, warriors aren't, aren't that different from each other. One doesn't, like, OP the other. 
that much. Like, it, they can be situational. That's true. Well, I can do this. It doesn't really matter to me what we do. Um, I personally don't like, like this idea. See, this guy right here is already get, getting me. Don't need two tanks, to be honest. Okay, well, um... I don't like going two hills. I know that's the huge meta right now. I just don't like it. <laughs> I think... Especially on the Sky Temple, you need three individualistic people to be in lane. Uh, whether they're specialists or not. And then you need something else. Look at this high damage that they have. Nah, I'd rather... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go... I don't really care what they're doing. So, back to what I was saying though. You're gonna have, uh... You're gonna have... It could have this. Even, even what I just did right there. I just completely ignored my team. And then just picked whatever I wanted to pick. <clears throat> That's just who I am. <laughs> um... But, honestly, like... Like, I, I don't like running into healers. What was the point? We're being squishy. We're being that we ha can't poke that much. We want people to dive in. Um, Tatsider is not the greatest by himself. And the fact that he wanted to test it out, we didn't grab anything with synergy. But either way. So yeah, I always feel like you ought to have the healer and the tank up there. Just solely because everything you should be picking down here should be countering this. Like, honestly, uh, KT is good against tanks uh, that are frontlining, but myself, I know I can push forward onto a KT. And I'll just stick closer to him and I'll kind of dive into him. If I see Greyman kind of dive in the back line, I can still blind him and kind of uh, assist that way while I'm still pushing forward. Diablo yeah, well, is trying to grab some stuff, I can pull him away if I really need to, so I'm perfectly fine. I'm hoping what Tyrio will do for me is actually he'll be diving uh, KT or Li Ming or Greyman in some, some sense. Uh, Probius might be the hardest one to kill. He might be the furthest one back, but if he's too far forward, well, you should be able to get him too. Uh... I want the reason why I like it that way is that I'm gonna be going in on these guys is because I want to push KT as far away. That's my goal in this match. I want to push KT as far away from the team fight so the living bomb won't spread, which means he'll likely have support like Lee Lee coming in to defend him, and he'll likely have Greyman coming in to help, or maybe it'll be Probius. If Diablo and Greyman decide to keep diving in onto my team, it should be a two on four, which means we should win. Uh, ideally, we'll have Vala and Falsad staying further back, dealing with whoever is diving because they are ranged. They should be beating a beating the shit out of these melee characters. I would we'll find out if they actually play that way. But that is battle. that is my idea. I think if we should be dominating. KT and uh, Probius is kind of like that. That is with us. wild factor, because if KT. If everyone on my team plays extremely passive, it means I can't be aggressive to uh, pushing him back, which means he's just gonna seconds. deal us like no tomorrow. Five, four, three, right. two, Take one. Sip my... it's Let game. your battle begin. So first talent I grab is Regen Master because that's who I am. That's how I like to play. Like I said, I'm individualistic. KT's over here. I'm gonna wait for this first globe wave. Uh, I'm not necessarily gonna dive in too far. Hey, fine. Hey, let's shout out to you, Pally Timer here. We'll do the, the spin of friendship. Alright, that's done. And I'm walking away. Now, this is not a. not a. not a good setup. Excuse me. Want to make sure it was there. The way we're dealing with Probius early on is you want to get rid of his pylons as much as you can. So there's KT trying to do his thing. I go. And 
I know. The night of the this guy. Within the temples. Look, like Casey doesn't stand much of a chance. Alright, while that's happening, I'm going up actually. See if I can get the globe in the middle before he kills it. My magic flows through the temple. Guardian! Do not let these mortals approach them. Okay. Oh, jeez. Alright, what's hitting me right now? Very well. Oh! <laughs> I was trying to get her back out, but I couldn't. Alright, well, either way. Uh, but yeah, that's what I said. Like, KT is pushing into us, and he's gonna be the deciding factor. Uh, luckily, we're getting the top uh, itself. Back in the fight. So I'm actually gonna join them up there. Hopefully, we can help with that assist. Actually, I'm gonna go. Choose a talent. But see how KT's kinda just like burning away at everybody? My main focus right now is globes. I don't really care too much about anything else. But we are getting hammer ranks all over the place. While that's happening, I'm gonna go down. Hmm. My temple's power has been expended. That's fine, you can you live in bomb me if you want. Than I believe. If I could get my globe quest complete, I should be fine. There's no globe down here for me. Alright, let's rotate on away. Look, their other team is actually doing really well at rotating. Uh, Greymane himself went down already, and he had managed to get them. <laughs> managed to get the camp. Which is doing really good. I'm on eight globes. Four minutes in. Nine now. I'll just sit here and tank it all the damage. The Not, a big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. By the light. Grab the globe. Fly back up. Oh, he's gonna get it before me. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Well, okay. We'll grab this one. There's another wave coming. We're at ten. Seems right. Choose a talent. Oh, let's see if we can get there. Why not? A great okay. victory. Well, that's happening. Not I'm gonna yet. help clean up this wave a little bit so that way ours pushes. I'm not gonna get down there in time. Make your peace quickly. Very well. That should be good enough. See, this is the thing. They're all going down there. I'm not there to help in the fight. More importantly, <coughs> we're down on levels. So, I'm just laning right now. To get our levels back up. The crusade calls. Also completing my quest. Two birds, one stone, right? Two birds, one stone. Not contesting that. Ooh, very nice. You have picked that one up. Enough of my temple's power. Return to your. Here we go. Let's impose my will on them. <laughs> nope. 
Oh, well, never mind. I got that I just yeah, stood there and took, to took the stun damage. Luxoria. <laughs> uh, that's kind of fun. Where did he go? Oh, he's gone beam. Hasn't been able to use it. I, I don't know if beam is the correct choice with this situation, but uh, yeah. I think they do in boss. Of course. I don't know if I'll make it this time. Thank you. <laughs> we got the globe. Alright, I'm gonna go get this globe up here. I know they're going for kills, but... Again, we're still down on XP. Priorities, guys. Priorities. Oh, the crusade so calls. What are we getting in here? You grow stronger in the light. I don't need to run away. So I tend to grab the uh, the blessing one if I need to run, uh, especially if I'm going to be by myself. It's a bigger map. In my glory. Right now, I I I don't know, man. What they're doing, they clearly see that there's other things more important. You could have just left. Yeah. Why are they going for that camp? My magic flows through the temples. I don't even know. Guardians, do not there let these mortals approach them. I'm gonna try to get this as much as I can. I'm just ignoring my team right now. And this is probably the worst thing you could do, but what else am I supposed to do? Why not? Alright, here we go. Here's the plan. I'm pushing KT out. He uses stuff over there. And that is fine with me. I'm on the run now. <laughs> but we should finish off that tower. I mistimed my stuff because I had to use it earlier to try to help him, but either way. Port lost. Heroes. One more talent. And I should have everything I need to finish off KT. I like the burning rage, man. We get this going. Damage per second. Back in the uh, healing per second. I go. They're all coming down to to get him. By the light. Temple's magic subsides. Find something else to fight over. Sorry guys, I got your back. Yeah, KT is doing a lot of damage to us right now. But we should have that turn around in a bit. This is the moment I've been isolated already from my team. I should pull back after that KT thing. Uh, I'm just playing horribly. Alright. That was on me, guys. That was all me. I think it was mostly all me, anyway. <laughs> hey, look at that. Let's go. Already got his quest complete? Yeah. He's got his quest. What is this? Oh, 8% if it hits two heroes. It's actually pretty damn good. 
we're all clumped up half the time. Over here. Four away from completing my globe quest. The crusade calls. He's already set up in here. I think the free shots. Fault destroyed. Pull back a bit. This is Diablo, man. Alright, I need to get out. I got a lot of ways to go to get out. We got as much as we could. You said marches on. Seems right. The crusade marches on. Well, this, this is the struggle, uh. Alright, quest complete. I don't know if I'm making it in time. Do this for now. We need to attack this as early as we can. Seconds, but I don't think you can make it. Two seconds. Ah. Ah. We got the boss. But we couldn't get anyone killed. We just got outplayed hard. Look at this. The healing compared to the two. Uh, shielding and healing. Huge difference. Damage wise, we don't have that much damage to begin with. We had no way of focusing one person because they could just run back and kite us all out. So, Defeat. I theorized in the beginning that we should be winning, but we couldn't. MVP. Yeah, it comes down to the two main factors. And I said this is going to be the decider of what was going to win or lose. So we've dropped, guys. I think uh, that was my demotion match, wasn't it? Oh, not yet. We've been saved by three points. Uh, let's get rid of this. Well, what could it be, guys? What could it be? So far, everything's new. Legendary. Hey. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Let's try this again. So was it a bad choice that I picked Joanna? I don't think so. But it, it could have been. Maybe if we left just Tyria by himself and we had someone else to kind of like move around. Maybe. But who would I have been? I, my only thoughts I could have been was um, Nova. I would have definitely stopped uh, KT a little bit more. I could have definitely tried to pick off, uh, pick off Probius. But... Then again, that just leaves us with very little presence in the lanes, which if you noticed throughout the match was a huge factor. Most of our guys weren't in the same lane and half the time they just chased a lot. 
Like, my team chased a lot. We got an advantage, we stole a boss, and instead of getting the lanes to get the XP lead, uh, so that way we would have a level lead, uh, well, most of the time we were actually behind levels, but we could at least got into the same level, which uh, the boss would have guaranteed, but we also would have managed to get up in levels if we actually focused. And then we could have just focused on one of the towers, gotten that completely, but instead they pushed and pushed and pushed. Because it, I think that's the, mo the, the, the biggest issue with uh, uncoordinated play is you're going to have one person, like you're going to have multiple, multiple styles of people, but you're going to tend to have a person who is hyper aggressive. Usually that's me. <laughs> so when I'm the one that's being passive, you know something's a little, something's a little whack. Um, but yeah, usually you have something that's hyper aggressive, and then you're gonna have sheeple, people who just follow whatever they see. They have no real ideas of their own other than, hey, I'm just gonna do what you're doing and try to assist as much as you can. And usually those people are really good as uh, healers because they're just following around other people. Um, not saying that healers have to be sheeples. I think like one of the greatest heroes, in my opinion, in the game, that is a support that's great as a leader is Morales. Definitely love her as a as a leader, especially if she has uh, dropship, like the medevac. That is honestly the best because you coordinate with your whole team. You're telling them, I'm gonna take you here, here, and here. We're gonna do this. We'll push when I want to push. We push when I have full mana, or when I have mana. You know, like you have to guard and play around her, otherwise she's useless. So there's a lot of things uh, mechanic-wise for Mor uh, Morales to succeed. But um, yeah, sheeples are a thing. I myself, uh, I went ham on certain spots. You would have actually seen in the patch. Uh, I went too far. I got I isolated myself a little too much. So I originally I was hoping that Greyman would charge into my teammates while I'm charging into the back. Instead, he actually played a more defensive role and decided to uh, let KT do the damage to whittle me down. Same with uh, Probius, and then he dove me, uh, which meant I didn't have enough uh, shielding or I didn't have enough uh, healing. It enough time to actually sustain all of that damage that he was doing. Uh, even if I blinded him, it wasn't working because uh, blinding his auto attacks against two people that do area effect damage means nothing. Uh, the area effect actually is just destroying me. Probably to slow me down, and then those flame strikes. Yeah, I isolated myself a little too often, and that kind of hurt. A lot of things went wrong in that match. A couple of things went right. And a few things we got lucky. My thought is, should I break these up? That was one match. I feel like I could. Nah. I'll go about for about an hour, which would probably be two matches uh, in total. Uh, because of the rate that, <laughs> that Hero League takes to load, especially this time. Spin, spin, spin. I feel like when you hear this, this little background music, it's just you got you you can visually see uh, a large horde kind of like marching along, right? Uh, they kind of just shrumming around, looking around uh, to see what to do. We're gonna head towards this mountain today, and we're gonna walk up it and uh, see if there's anyone we have to fight. If not, we're just coming back down the mountain, and then we're just gonna go back to the barracks, and then maybe do another round back up to that mountain. That's what I picture in my mind whenever I hear it. Just, I see a whole bunch of warriors walk around with all this cladded armor, similar to like what Joe's wearing right here. 
and they're just banging on their shields I was like, uh, as they're moving up that's what I see visually in my mind and if that was the goal you've succeeded blizzard um, yeah it's a good it's a good uh, little beat there I guess what I could talk about is here guys so you guys can see my profile of progression so can you guess who I play the most can you can you can you <laughs> uh, yeah I play her a lot does it mean I win with her a lot no I, I think I, I actually don't win very much with her yeah it's like 54 my actual uh, statistics for everything is just <laughs> at the 50 just a little bit above 50 I'm not like I'm not very good. I play a lot of everybody, and except for Varian, Varian's hard to deal like to really give a good stat because there's only one person that you could use in this multi-class role. So either you're you're really high with him because you win with him more often, or you're really low with him. Like in my case, I'm like just in the middle, which is like with every hero that I have. So I'm I'm a jack of all trades. Obviously, uh, specialist is my main role, and solely because I play a lot of Savannahs. Highest win rate, though, you'll notice Savannah is not up here. Savannah itself is down here. She's more true to my actual win rate status. Everyone else, yeah, they're there, but if whoever's closest to this stat is the, the most accurate. Yes, I could have Probius being at 72%, but that's only because I've only played 29 games of him. Uh, Gazlo itself, I haven't played him in a very very long time and I only played him at the beginning when the first game launched and when Gazlo was a god uh, the god among all goblin gods who could literally tank a boss by himself at the 10 minute um, what was it? at level 10 there was a time I actually did the boss at level 7 you could do it at level 7 like right at the very beginning like Gazlo could do a boss on his own just the talents you could pick because um, the robo talent that you get now that does damage to minions that was actually a talent not, not a not an ultimate and um, oh it's not that that does damage to minions it's sorry that he takes less damage from minions uh, or mercenary camps and which included bosses it didn't have that specification that doesn't include bosses uh, so he wouldn't take that much damage you could just set up turrets uh, and back then you could actually set up a good decent amount of turrets very easily and the cooldown was kind of low so you can just keep getting them uh, over and over and over again and just pound away uh, he had back then also they had the regen masters on everyone uh, a lot of people and regen was a little bit different uh, you get three globes you get a certain amount of uh, healing added to your regen so you can get that really fast you saw me in three minutes I was already at eight globes um, but that's only because one I was rotating back and forth getting uh, certain globes on certain camps and that's on a map that necessarily is yeah a three lane map is kind of good for globes but uh, like uh, Skyfall is not necessarily the greatest uh, if that's what the quest you're going for, unless you're literally doing what I was doing, going around in every lane to pick them up. But because I, that's how I did things, and that's how I got used to doing Regen Master, uh, you can collect it pretty quickly, and it really comes in handy. Then, what's it called? Uh, See, so that was with Gazlos back then. So Gazlo was just a god. I love him so much. What? What is up with this? <laughs> It's, it's not that often like I see Sylvanas always getting banned, but I guess in Haunted Minds it makes sense. But, man, lately it just, no, no one gets Sylvanas. What I like about her the most, and this is probably the reason why I play her the most, is a talent a friend of mine convinced me to get, which was the double haunting wave. It was a talent I completely disliked. I was like, oh, stupid. Yeah, okay, I get my quivers back for my arrows. But that's stupid. Fire, actually, I found the use of the haunted wave later on that you could actually dodge a lot of stuff. 
There was like a lot of things you could dodge. Uh, who do I want to be? I feel like... I kind of want to play Stitches, but I feel like this is the correct choice. The Crusade calls. The will rise I follow my, my rules, like I said, of uh, getting my tank or healer at the beginning. Don't necessarily know what kind of healer we need, so... Finally. I'll get rid of the tank. Spot. This galaxy shall suffer. Uh, but yeah, Haunting Wave, you can use it to actually dodge a lot of things. I just didn't know back then when I was first playing the game, I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, it doesn't make her unstoppable, but apparently it's like that ability to just kind of like... Almost be like two places at once. I'm trying to ban my me. I'm already there. Doesn't matter. But the ideal ban would have been a healer of some sort, because that's who we need. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, you can haunt him. Wait, so you've probably seen it in the pros before, where like the oh, best example you get is KT's doing her um, pyroblast as she's building up the pyroblast. It gets launched and it's chasing after a character, right? So you can actually Haunting Wave in, into the Pyroblast. So you Haunting Wave away from it, but you walk towards the Pyroblast as it's about to hit you, and then you hit E again to port on your Haunting Wave. The blast itself will explode. Sylvanas takes no damage. It's not that she's unstoppable, she just happened to dodge it. So it's like the animation itself, there's like a split second difference between the animation of the attack coming in and hitting you. Uh, so it thinks it hits you, so it explodes, which is which is pretty tight. Um, so that's the best example. But you can do that for a lot of things. I didn't even know, but you could like butcher. He winds up to come in towards you. You can actually dodge his stun charge with it. Uh, who else is it? Um, who else does a lot of things like that? I've dodged. Jo uh, Joanna, uh, she does the, so she does her, uh, whatever called oh, the shield thing, oh my god, I have her right here, I should just say it. So she does condemn, and she pulls people in, you can actually dodge the condemn so that way it doesn't do damage to you. Um, other things that you can dodge, I've dodged the Kerrigan one once, I don't even know if that's a thing, or if I just got lucky, or if I just happened to point out before it. So that was a thing. I don't know, I can't think of any other ones. But there's a lot of things apparently you could dodge. Oh, uh, Nova's triple tap. I've dodged two of those. Like, because you have a double haunting wave, you can actually, as the triple tap's coming in, haunting wave, go towards the blast and dodge. And then you do it one more time, and you're gonna get hit by the third one, of course, because obviously you don't have a third haunting wave. But you can actually deflect two of them. Which is really tough. I'm not saying I do it all the time. No, I ain't not pro to do that every time. But when I do get it off, it, it definitely becomes a saving moment. Or it definitely becomes like a, a key change in the game shift, you know? Especially when a KT tries to blast you down at like uh, three quarters of your health being full. And here comes a pyro blast and you just happen to completely nullify his ultimate on you with a with a basic ability so it's like stuff like that that's what i think makes uh sylvanas like really 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 high level and really amazing uh super fun as well if you like to dart around uh, move i i love going every which direction with her uh, i like the fact that i can go in deep attack whatever I, I want, and yeah, some more than likely, uh, I would probably now say together, seven times out of ten, maybe all? six, uh, if, if I'm on a good day, somewhere between six or seven times a day, uh, sometimes at ten, sorry, uh, when I'm diving in, yeah, I'll probably not. I'll get surrounded if I'm not paying attention, if they have a lot seconds. of stun lock, yes. it is super hard to escape, 
but like Five, given who they four, have right here right now, three, the only people I have to really two, watch out for one. is Janus, Lowe, or Alarak. Um, silence. He comes out of, out of the bushes out of nowhere. Alright, so again we do Regen Master because that's who I am. Akarat wins it. That's what I like. That's all I know. Body blocked in. I thought I had. I did have it up. The crusade calls. I don't know what he means by that, but uh, I'm assuming he's probably say use that as a trigger to figure out if they're coming in or not. I got one globe. I missed 32. The mines will open shortly. Soon we have all the Over here. Grab this globe. 20 seconds. We gotta hold out. I can't quite get in there. Why not? They're way too close to tower to get one to grab. Going in and out. I don't even know what's going on anymore. How can I do that? I think so, yes. There go. The crusade marches on. I'm not really going for the kill, I'm just trying to get the globes. Situation. I don't really know what to do, but other Cow than hope that our team's gonna get here in time. Can't be helped. <laughs> I didn't want to leave. I thought I was gonna die, and I could get the, the skulls. 
but uh, never mind. Oh, right on the cusp of it all. I don't know if we won or not. Of course. Kind of want to push for ours. They can definitely pull that off. Well done. Your golem is stronger than your enemies. The crusade to be had. Oh, I got your back check. <clears throat> I'm not getting as many as I want. Shall soon return. Prepare yourselves. Oh, we lost them. Over here. Went the wrong talent. I haven't even been talking. <laughs> I'm so focused on what I'm trying to think of doing. I'm just not doing anything at all. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go up here. It doesn't look like they're up there. I should have definitely grabbed. Yes. Make your peace quickly. Why not? We got ten so far. Make your peace quick. The crusade calls. Crusade calls. Going back away. I must retreat, friend. 
So the reason why to answer their question, even though I can't really talk uh, to them, yes. I'm not gonna say to them, but I'll tell you guys. The reason why I didn't go in to help them with the fight is they funneled in one at a time into that fight, which means uh, they're just gonna die or they're gonna be really close to death. So me coming in doesn't help in that situation. I'd rather get some skulls, which we did. We should get 20, and literally those are the 20 that I took. victory. But we're not done yet. And we lost it. Never mind. Now is the hour of my golem's return. Yes. So hopefully we can actually start fighting this out here a little bit. But uh, that's always a dangerous point because they're probably going to punch. Which I think is always wrong. Like, if they actually come to push here, they should have, like, a couple less people defending. But, uh, still Over somebody here. defending. Choose a talent. We don't have to do much of anything else. Again, I don't know why they're fighting. More bones. But fine. That's what I have to do. Double kill. Just gonna run away and come back this thing. Your fort has fallen. We're not done yet. Make your peace quickly. Holy shit. <laughs> that was a lot more than I was expecting, but uh yeah. Alright, cool. Oh, and I just got I should grab that first. I probably could have saved my life. Stand with me. The dead. I never noticed that. They actually dead have no healer. Into the mine. Don't necessarily need one too much if you're just gonna be uh, in battles all the whole time. I should get an apprentice soon. Very well. Enter here. Stop on this. Like trap of the wind. Very well. Stand with me. Well done. Double kiss. Enemy slain. Perhaps I am 
underestimated you. Burn And unleash your here. boundless anger! So in this case, Greymane is the only one that needs- Ah, oh, shit. Greymane is the only one that needs to defend. Seems right. Very defend. Because we have the main advantage, we don't need everyone defending. Columns return. Yours is far more powerful. I clicked too far away. guarantee we're gonna win here. Uh, if you've actually so noticed the fight itself, yeah, they have a lot of damage, which means they can well down almost a full uh, golem. So, there's just a lot of things that actually benefit on their side. Uh, they all have damage as opposed to us. Uh, they have their heals, that's their big thing. Are you prepared to fight the I don't know. You can complain about it. Very well. We did it. But either way. Find time. Akarat wills it. Like chaff before the wind. But why not? The enemy threatens me. Kill. Triple kill. 
kill. Hey, gotta get to the healer. Stop that hero. Quad kill. Very well. Killing spree. The crusade marches on. <laughs> Boldly done. Yes. Like shot before the wind. Kind of tough match. The orc being there is kind of like a ominous thing, but uh, not a big deal. Oh no, I'm doing this by myself. This is probably not the best idea. Most oh, sappers should go past it. Got stunned by a lot of things. Your enemy has destroyed a keep. So these sappers should get well the keep that we just lost anyway, so I'm okay with it. But Your enemy's keep. This is where I see contingency plan. This keep thing destroyed. shit would never get the keep itself, but we have one person defending. But we won anyway. So we Hurry, the enemy is attacking your core. Oh my god. Pumping up his ego. Oh no. That, you know what's gonna happen is. Um, like, yeah, he played really well. I won't lie. And maybe he did right, make the right calls. But, uh. You pump up his ego. He's gonna take that ego and do another match. And you never know what could happen then. <laughs> Alright. So here, I'm going to show you how horrible... <laughs> the oh, Crusade calls. I'm going to show you how horrible Quick Match is. I'm going to put some on Victory in. for the Forsaken. Q-Time is really low with her. Uh, but this is how bad Quick Match is right now. We're, you're going to see, I'm likely to be in a two-map lane. Because that's just how my luck has been lately. So it's going to be a two-map lane. Uh, there's going to be Stealth, as always. Uh, or Genji, for the most part. Uh, or... Because, you know, who's the most popular hero right now? Diva. Oh, there's Genji on my team. 
that means there's definitely going to be some fast on the other side. Are we going to have Nova, Zeratul? Is there going to be another Genji? Alright, so they have a Genji, there's a Zeratul, there you go. Oh, hey look, at least we're in a 3 map lane. Uh, which gives uh, me better chances, but at the same time... Hey, we have a Zeratul, I don't even notice that. I, I guess maybe it was the skin. So it's going to be Uther versus a double support. Um, technically, I feel like it's even. This actually, this actually, you know what, to be honest, I'm not sure if having two healers on one side is makes it even or not. Because we have technically everyone the same, uh, but we have a couple of squishy people which work well for Zeratul and Genji. I, I favor the other team a little bit more. I favor them a bit more Heroes. than us. But, uh, I think for the most part, this actually Hold might be the tongue, best, uh, kind of, like, quick match. Alright, a few things about my skinnergy over here, look at this, we got the chicken, because we cocky. We, we got that skin, the skin, uh, Sylvanas, so and there's my cheese, guys, there's my cheese. Five, four, All right, I'm gonna go three, top lane. two. One. I know the majority of the people actually go bottom lane. Well, I, for some reason, I what still, are you like, waiting to for? The moment is upon us. Even if like the tower is there, I think in some other matches, I still go top lane. There we go. The infamous cheese. And of course, we're putting Kuda down. So in this matchup, I expect myself to die quite a few times. I'm gonna try not to, but I expect myself to die quite a few times. I think they're already on the way. Do not test my patience. Go up a little bit. Alright, I see no Zeratul right now. Which means he could be up here. Which is a thing. I don't know if he's of up here or down there. Because there's air tools in the middle still. Did he tap already? I don't even know. You can heal though. Give the order. Okay, Zero Tools up top. Thank you for the warning. And I tap mine. I know they're trying to bait me out. Yeah, I see him. Alright, he's in the bushes at the top. Forward. Just gonna chill over here. He's doing nothing, technically, so that's actually good for me. Show them no mercy. I don't see him anymore. I haven't seen him on the map. I'm missing. Oh, there he is down there. All right, cool. We're free to push. Time. Ah, that seems we're generous. Free to push. My will is my own. Back? No, not back. Oh, almost got me. Look at this, get his whittle down. Ragnarok. Gather tribute and earn my favor. Oh, I think Zeratul's coming up here again. I don't see him. Back for now. That was right. 
are the violent. Thank you for that. Double kill. Let me get this fountain <clears throat> before Genji dives in on me. Oh jeez. <laughs> I actually almost walked into that ball. Choose a little too much. Alright, possession because that's who I like. It's what I like. Let's get that globe. Oh, let's see here. I miss you. I grow tired of your petty squabbling. Gather tribute. Earn my favor. I'm already on my way down. Uh, it's gonna be a three on. One. My will is my I own. I think we're not, we're not gonna. We're not gonna go to it. That's not the correct choice. The correct choice will be down. I'm here. See, I don't like the fact that they leave lanes completely empty. Oh, look who's coming. So I'm gonna stay in the middle now because this is the most dangerous spot. And the Banshee Queen. Give the order. There's not much else I can do. That's happening. Gather tribute here. or face my curse. The choice is simple. I'm gonna clean up the top lane. Cause that's what I must. Yeah. The moment is upon us. Choose a talent. Silence going. <laughs> dead. Good kill. Woo! Double kill. Jump again. And while that's happening. I have no more mana. I am out of mana. Free. So I'm just gonna go down here. Such a feeble Let's get some mana. Hit this fountain. Oh, there's something in my eye. Forward. Alright, they're all here, so I'm going away. See, this is the thing. Savannah does not. I, as for Savannah, I never, never want to be with my team. Uh, not necessarily ever, but for the most part, I just try to stay away from them because most people want to push with me. And that's cool, but um, I get it. We fam. But um, it's just sometimes so much easier for me to push by myself. I went after Genji, but uh, I wanted uh, uh, I wanted Ragnaros. It's okay though. Bottom lane's pushing. They might get in our top keep, but uh, we should be able to get the bottom quite a bit. There's Zeratul no keep pushing in. We might actually get the middle. My will is 
is my own. Push the attack. Double kill. No. Nice try. You do not get to transform. I'm here. Choose a talent. Gather tribute or face my curse. The yeah, choice is like simple. Right? And let's level us out. Here's the contestion. They know they have to stop that. Do not contest my I'm just gonna push by myself. To the death. They're stopping that. And even if they don't, even if they get it from us, not the end of the world for me. I can always possess and make more of a mini. Well done. Your enemies shall be weakened. Let them fall before you. Destroy. Well done. Nope. Nope. I don't know if I can get away. Ah! Almost. <laughs> they got him, thank you. <laughs> it's close. If I, if I got that haunting wave out just a little bit quicker uh, before his blink came in, I probably would be fine. But we got a top keep as planned. Despite all their efforts to try to stop it. Got the front wall, got the front wall. Advantage is us, stat wise. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Uh, that doesn't tell everything though. I was by myself half the time. And my team just likes to fight, so. Like, even on, on the, the killing ground. What joy is they're distracted. Done. And they're trying to port back to mid. I'm gonna go in here. Make sure they're not grabbing that. And I can see them all on the board, so I know they're not doing bombs. Vengeance is Of course. Now they probably will. They flee before us. We need to recruit those mercenaries. So they're doing their boss. The Zerto's gonna come up here to try to do our boss. The moment is upon us. I have slow, as far as I know. Done with. I 
go defend middle. Boss will defend top. We have the bottom camp defend your bottom. The current does nothing. See how things work? See how things work out. And now we're pushing mid lane. <laughs> and this is probably why Savannah is always banned because uh, it is annoying to deal with somebody and shut off the, the wave itself. <laughs> On their curse, they might actually lose the tower. Good enough. I'm just gonna leave. I'm here. Woo! They really want to be dead. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. That actually worked. Let's see if coming in has the bait. Turn around. It worked. And that means they're gonna get mid. Alright, cool. It seems he's lost a four. Nice, there. Poking in. Doing his thing. Not gonna win, but play long enough for us to get up. And that means they're gonna try going for boss. What joy is there in this curse? Which this is the mistake the it could be. We're gonna us. funnel in uh, staggered. Done. Yep. I wasn't gonna do it. I fight on. Oh shit. My own. Oh shit, I'm surrounded. <laughs> I'm surrounded. Uh, what is my team doing? Why are they letting- they're just giving up the fort completely. Alright, I guess that's probably a smarter play. But we could defend this ideally here and have the fort as our backup. But, uh, fine. Is this enough Shall to we kill see it? Who no. Gathers enough tribute this time? The wave's kind of big. But it won't be enough. It's not huge. It might drain its. No, it won't drain that. Maybe. You have lost the key. The enemy is attacking your. It's like core. two shots per. Choose a oh, no, this one started up too. Let's go. I think we just lost. Maybe. If we can hold this off, we actually have enough catapults maybe to do damage to their core. There is no rest left right. for me. Core is good at the time. Let none okay. survive. Of course. All that shit's happening. Yeah, we got we got a lot of damage on their core. And this Give is gonna take order. away that advantage that they had on that lane. They don't see me. I'm listening. <clears throat> Perhaps these mercenaries will join us. And now I've already caused enough distraction to pull out. 
Do not test my patience. I go back to middle. And we should get boss, and the boss should push to finish. If we lose the boss up here, then. Of course. Well, there are two men there now. <clears throat> you disgust me. We just push mid. Gather tribute or face my curse. The choice is simple. Keep destroyed. The pull to the bottom, I think, is literally, and I'm glad my team, like, this is the thing where I really, really appreciate question? my team for noticing. I'm way overextended on one side. I'm likely to die. And it's an ultimatum. The team could actually come and try to defend me. Or, the, uh, they, they open up a lot of space on the map, which leaves uh, my team to be able to do the boss on their own. Although I think there was a chance that they actually might have lost it. I couldn't see the fight what was happening there, but there's probably like a small chance they could have lost it. Yeah. There's the quick match, there's my Sylvanas. And uh, I didn't put down a lot of cheese, but uh, I don't think I needed to. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.